So I know what you're thinking. I don't look autistic. Or do I? That one's always more fun to hear. I am autistic and not just a person with autism. Larry the bus driver can't grab my autism and throw it out the window. Now I could talk about my experience being autistic. But let's talk about you neurotypicals first instead. Go inspire yourselves for once. For those of you who don't know what a neurotypical is, it's someone who doesn't have a mental health condition like autism, ADHD, or cisgenderism. On behalf of the autistic community, I would like to give a very special thank you to all those neurotypicals who give away their hard-earned money in the hopes of finding a cure for autism. Thank you for going against our wishes not to be eradicated. Even I could tell that was sarcasm. We were never consulted about this. But I understand, we were kind of out of reach, down the hall in special education, real out of the way. There's a reason I don't describe myself with the word Asperger's. Many people in the autism community know the story of Hans Asperger. He discovered a mild form of autism and thought he could change the world. Sounds like a great guy, right? Now what if I told you he was a Nazi? What gave it away? He was a German scientist in the 1940s. He fundraised for the Nazis and signed death warrants on children. On children! Hans Asperger was a psychopath. I mean psychiatrist from the 1940s who was studying why young white boys weren't engaging in Nazi activities. What about the girls? Who cares? Hmm, there's work from all these women 20 years prior in Russia. Hmm. I'll just steal it. As Sigmund Freud once said, every great psychiatrist has a cigar. Does this story sound familiar? Oh, Aspies, with your mind so bright, won't you guide our Nazis tonight? And how the neurotypicals love them is they shout out with glee. Aspies, you'll go down in history. So what's the moral of the story? You shouldn't judge the inherent quality of a human being based on what they provide to the majority of society. And also the fact that diagnostic criteria is still today based on young white boys in Nazi Germany. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I have another video where I talk about my childhood as an autistic person. It's really funny and a fun story there. Plus, if you want to see an extended version of this video, you can sign up for my Patreon starting at $3 a month. It helps support this channel and keeps me going because, you know, this stuff is really expensive to make. Thank you so much. Goodbye.